This is Philip Tracy, editor at RCR Wireless News and Industrial IoT 5G. Welcome to IoT in Action. Last week I was in Chicago at Bosch Connected World. It was a conference dedicated specifically to industrial IoT. Um, before we get into the use cases, some of the cool demos that I, I filmed there, um, we're going to talk about the big news at the conference. And that's that uh, Bosch and G announced interoperability between their IoT platforms. Um, some other really interesting panels that were there. Um, Nathan Anderson, partner at Bain and Company, spoke about ways uh, for companies to leverage di digitization to um, really maximize their technology. And also Chris Swearinger, manager of Sensorware at FedEx, talked about the company's IoT-based product and how they're able to use it to optimize their supply chain. So links to those articles can be found below in the uh, in the summary. Now, going on to the demos, the first demo I'm going to show will feature Mercury Motors, uh, Mercury Marine, sorry, they are a boat engine manufacturer. Um, they create created what Bosch calls the computer in a box, and it's a, it's a single box that's able to capture a number of data points from a boat so that boat owners can track the, the boat's performance and its health. So let's take a look at that video. Um, I'm Jimbo Paylor. I'm a solution architect with the IoT uh, group here in Chicago for Bosch, uh, Software Innovations. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about one of the projects we're working on, which is the Vessel View Mobile uh, with Mercury Marine. Um, Mercury Marine has developed a piece of hardware. This is what we call our engine in a box, but uh, this is what Mercury Marine is selling, is this piece of hardware right here. It is a connects to the CAN bus in your boat and it talks a SmartCraft proprietary protocol to the engine, collects data from that engine. We have the engine over here, uh, you know, very quickly. Uh, this is the engine, it connects into the CAN bus back here in your boat and instead of having to buy like four or five expensive uh, gauges to put in your boat, uh, you can put this piece of hardware in, connect your phone to it with Bluetooth, and get virtual gauges. So you can get your RPM, you can get your coolant temperature, you can get uh, your speed, you can get your fuel usage. A lot of information like that. The other big thing that you get is really your uh, fault codes. When these things are generating some faults that today most boaters don't know they're happening because there's no way to see that anywhere. When you bring in the dealer after it finally breaks, they can pull those out. But until that happens, most boaters don't ever know that that's even happening. So. With this product, they're gonna the dealer will install it. They'll be able to see it on their phone and be able to take some actions probably before you have a major failure. Maybe get it and have a service when it's much less expensive to have it done. And so what we were working with is a mobile app that goes on your phone, uh, goes on uh, a tablet or something like that. Um, again, right now obviously we don't have a boat, so we, our RPMs and speed are zero. But uh, this is information. You connect this to Bluetooth to there. You can collect all that information. It displays it very nicely. In the background, this is also going to upload all that data to the cloud. In the cloud, we have a web portal both for the owner, who can see his historical values. Um, and hold on just a second. You know, this is our web portal. Kind of tells you that I've got 14 gallons of fuel. Uh, my peak speed for my last trip, kind of just some historical data. I can also look at my fault history, stuff like that. In addition to the owners being able to use a web portal, dealers can do it as well. And that gives a dealer kind of a way to engage their customers, uh, bring them back with recurring service, really keep them, uh, like create that business relationship with them that doesn't happen today. Today now, the times you see your dealer are when you buy your boat, when you winterize it, you know, if you live up north, and that's about it. The dealer really wants to be able to look at those fault codes, bring them in, make that whole boating experience much more positive. Make the idea that a Mercury uh, motor is going to uh, lead to being able to fix things before it goes bad, being able to, you know, get a lot of that uh, maintenance done much more proactively so your whole boating experience is better, you know, and Mercury's a division of Brunswick, so Brunswick also sells boats, so that it's a whole, you know, holistic view of making customers happy with the brand, you know, so that's what 
Mercury is really invested in. The next step is they're going to build something that's uh, always on. And right now it works in the background. This is a very much a application kind of for the people that are in that uh, starter boat market. You don't, it's not the giant 40-foot yacht that you're willing to spend thousands upon thousands of dollars to engage in. It's really the person has a small fishing boat. Today, they have no alternative except for bringing in the dealer when it breaks. In long term, this is going to give them the ability to have that information so they can make better views. It also gets the dealer involved. It also, uh, Mercury Engineering has a lot access to some of this data. So they can do long term uh, analysis of how their motors are performing. So it's a, everyone's using this data. Everyone's trying to make the experience better. Uh, and I guess that's what Vessel View Mobile is. Now from motors to robots, this next demo is gonna show off some Bosch sensors working on a robotics arm. Let's take a look. Okay, so what we're presenting here is actually our automated production assistant, the APAS, and actually we have a whole family from the APAS. It's not just uh, this robot uh, for pick and place topics. We have also image processing and uh, and also pressing modules and all kinds of different variations because the demand for the future, talking about industry 4.0 and connected industry, is we need more agility and more flexibility in the manufacturing for tomorrow. So, so if you talk about smart manufacturing, it's sure about the connectivity, getting the data uh, to the servers, to the database, to the cloud, uh, but it's also required to react quicker and faster on a new demand. Uh, everybody got a cell phone now, so cell phone production needs to change their manufacturing each year, annual, because customer is unhappy if he doesn't get a new cell phone on Christmas. Uh, so, but uh, and sure, we have inside Bosch, we have a lot of manufacturing line, we're producing high volume parts on, for a long time. Time, but uh, the demand for product development and uh, the life cycle will be much shorter in the future. So, so therefore, those uh, assistants might be more and more valuable. Uh, it's mobile. It can do. Uh, in that case, uh, pick and place topics for repetitive jobs, uh, but it can be basically used today on, on this spot, tomorrow on another one. Yeah? And the, the main key here, it's a collaborative system. Yeah? So this sensor skin is filled with a uh, capacity sensor, so this robot actually stops before you touch it. Yeah? And uh, so, so it can support a worker on a manual workstation doing, doing the job. Yeah? I can start it up here. Uh, and we can see how it behaves. Uh, so this camera, uh, this robot has also a camera integrated in the front, so it makes the automatic position adjustment. And when it starts doing its work, and it keeps on doing it uh, uh, as as it's programmed with this wizard. Uh. And like I said, that's the key here. Uh, it's basically, well, you can go close, you didn't need special safety guardings, and basically it stops before you touch it. Uh. And as soon as you release it, it basically continues to work. Uh. And uh, all, all that basically, uh, like I said, it's all about the flexible automation and smart manufacturing for the future that right? requires uh, to be really uh, agile and, and changing the, the situation from today and tomorrow. Yeah, so. Thanks for watching IoT in Action, our Bosch Connected World episode. We look forward to seeing you next week.